The Philippines Wind Data Viewer is a web-based GIS application focused on data related to wind energy in the Philippines. The application is built using the OpenCardo GIS framework developed at the National Renewable Energy Lab in Golden, Colorado. It is designed to provide exploration, visualization, querying, and GIS capabilities for wind data in the Philippines. This tutorial will describe how to navigate, display data, query, and download data in the application. On the left side of the screen is a tree of data layers available in the application. This layer tree allows you to select which layers you wish to activate. Within the tree, there are two types of entries. Geospatial data layers, represented by the wind speed 100 meter entry here, and a directory structure, represented by the renewable resource entry here. Layers exist within directories, making it easier to find the data you want. To open a directory and see the layers available within that directory, click on the arrow to the left of that directory's title. To close the directory, click on the arrow again. Data layers have a variety of functionality within the application. First, you can choose to activate or deactivate a layer by clicking the checkbox to its left. Activating a data layer makes it visible within the application. Deactivating a layer removes it. It is possible to activate multiple layers, allowing the user to compare two or more datasets at the same time. Second, you can view metadata for each layer by clicking on the metadata button, represented here by a question mark to the right of each active layer. This button brings up a scrollable menu that displays the metadata, including source information, for that layer. To close the metadata window, Click on the X at the top right. Lastly, you can download available data by clicking the Download button, represented here by the down arrow, to the right of each active layer. This function will bring up a download menu with each of the available download formats listed. Any formats that are unavailable for that dataset will be grayed out. Most layers within the application have a full geospatial dataset available for download within the application. However, some extremely large datasets like wind speed, wind power density, and the downloadable wind data layer have special instructions for download. We'll go over these later in the tutorial. Any data layers that have been activated will also appear in the legend, available by clicking on this legend tab at the top of the table of contents. The legend will display the classifications for each active layer in the application. Within the legend tab, you can adjust the transparency of the layer by using the transparency slider below each legend. You can also reorder the layer using the arrow keys in the top right of each layer's legend. If I want to move the wind speed layer below power plants, I can click on the down arrow here, and the layer will shift in order in the legend and in the map display. To move an item up in the display, click on the up arrow. There are a variety of tools available for navigating and exploring the map. To zoom into an area, you can click on the plus button here at the top right of the screen. And to zoom out, you can use the minus button.
If you're using a mouse or tracker ball with a scroll tool, you can also use that scroll tool to zoom in and out. Double clicking on an area of the map will zoom in to that area. If you wish to zoom to a particular extent on the map, you can use the Area Zoom tool, represented here by a magnifying glass with a plus sign. Simply click on the tool to activate it, then click and drag to draw a box over the area you wish to zoom to. You can also use the geocoded search tool to zoom to a specific location on the map. Click on the search tool button in the top right of the screen and enter a place name or longitude and latitude coordinates for the location you wish to view. To pan the map, simply click and drag the map in the direction you'd like to pan. The Philippines Wind Data Viewer offers a variety of tools to query your data as well. Simply clicking on the map will bring up a menu listing features in the active layers near the clicked point. Click on the arrows to the left to see the attributes available for a particular layer at that location. The application also supports querying by region. These tools are accessible through the Query Tools tab at the top of the table of contents. You can choose to query a rectangular region by clicking on the Region Query tool, then clicking and dragging to draw a box for your region of interest. A query results display will appear at the bottom of the screen with the available attributes for each of the features in the active layers contained by your region. To see attributes for each layer, simply click on that Layers tab at the top of the query results. You can also download these results using the Download Query Results link at the top right of the Query Results window. To close the Query Results window, click on the Close button at the top right. You can also use the Custom Shape Query tool to get results for a custom, user-drawn area. Click on the Custom Shape Query tool in the Table of Contents, Then begin drawing the custom shape by clicking on the map to add points. Click on the first point to complete the shape and get the query results. As mentioned before, some of the large datasets in the Philippines Win Data Viewer have custom download functionality. This functionality is accessible through the query tools. The downloadable Win Data layer allows you to choose from a number of available Win Data attributes for a subset of points. To download this data, turn on the layer in the table of contents. Then query the point that you wish to download data for by clicking on its location on the map. Let's do that by zooming into Manila. At the bottom of the Query Results tab, you'll see a link to download data.
Clicking the download data link will bring up an interface allowing you to choose which attributes you wish to download for that point. The download limit indicator at the bottom of the interface will let you know when you have reached the maximum allowable download size. When you are ready to download the data, simply click the download data button at the bottom of the interface to download the selected attributes as a CSV or comma separated value file. Wind resource data can also be downloaded from multiple points simultaneously. To access this functionality, we'll close out of the point query menu and use the region or custom shape query tools in the query tab at the top of the table of contents. Use the tool to select the points for which you wish to download data. In the Query Results display at the bottom of the screen, click Download Data to bring up the download interface. Just as before, you can select the attributes you wish to download for the selected points. Downloads are currently limited to 80 total attributes to ensure adequate performance.